Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you the best setting for Discord. I will not do a crazy guide about Discord. It will be more about like your sound quality, quality your ping, and also um, the uh, notification system. Because I know a lot of people is complaining. They always like hear uh, random sound in Discord because someone posts something in some server that you don't even go anymore. So let's start by this. Server-wise, you just have to right click on it and also you can mute a server if you want so go to mute server and you can say until i turn it back on so you're going to make sure that you uh, mute the server and also the notification setting here i recommend if you don't really like you don't want to receive anything uh, make sure that server notification setting is at nothing and make sure that you don't see any like everyone or all role mention so suppress those click done and you will be fine now you will not receive anything from the server. Now for the sound quality, let's go to user setting, go to voice and video. The first thing that you really need to do is in the input device, make sure that you have the proper input device over here. A lot of people uh, have like their camera and they don't even know like the uh, microphone on the camera. So really important to have like your best microphone that you, you wanna use and the output whatever, like your DAC, headphone, speaker, etc. For the input volume and output volume, I recommend just 100% over here. After that, the input mode. Uh, the input mode, I recommend voice activity, uh, but the voice activity manual, uh, if you want to push to talk, it's really easy to set it up. You just click push to talk, select like a, a shortcut, and you have to press to talk. But if you want the voice activity, I don't recommend the automatically determine uh, input sensitivity uh, on me. Like uh, I had like some issue with it. My voice was cutting. Sometimes I had like weird that static noise. So I just went with this, uncheck this, and you have to use the slider. So it's pretty easy. You just have to look where your voice goes. So, so you want your voice in the grid section and you want all your background noise in the yellow section. So you're going to test like your mouse, uh, I don't know, your fan, your keyboard. So for an example, if I test my keyboard, as you can see, it's pretty much in the yellow. I saw that it went a little bit over here. Normally I go at one minus 40. Uh, and I don't like people don't uh, hear my mouse, my keyboard or even my fan. So this is pretty, I think the best way to do it to make sure that you create your pro your own um, sensitivity setting. After that, scroll a little bit. If you have a really good mic, don't use those voice processing. So this is post processing from Discord. So make sure that the echo cancellation is at off and the noise reduction is at off. If you have like a really bad, bad microphone, you can use it. You can use the noise reduction and the echo cancellation, but you have to remember those are post processing. And I saw a lot of issue with it, like some random static crackling noise uh, when you're speaking. So that's why I'm not a big fan of post processing like this. Also, if a, a couple of people have issue with the hardware acceleration, like their driver is crashing, NVIDIA or even AMD driver. So if you have this issue, you can definitely uncheck this, but uh, it will uh, put more pressure on your CPU. So you need a good CPU if you want to do that. Another thing that you can do if you have like a really good like a router and a last generation router, you can enable quality if you have issue with it. If you don't have if issue, don't touch it. But it will like prioritize. Um, it will put Discord in high priority to make sure that you don't have like packet loss and stuff like that. So this is a setting that you can activate for sure if you have this issue. So this is pretty much it for the voice uh, and the video. I really recommend also, I didn't say it, but to, I recommend to use the software, the Discord software. Don't go in the browser. You can definitely use the browser, but I think it's more like a plan B. You, you can't download the Discord for whatever reason. But if you, um, you think that you're going to use Discord all the time, make sure you have the browser section. It will help you a lot for the first of all with performance and also you will have less issue. One more thing that you can do is uh, if you own a server, so for example, you have a server and sometimes your ping is going at like two bar in yellow or one in red, uh, it's probably because Discord have some issue or maybe your internet connection also, but normally you, you can go on the Discord website and it will tell you if they have issue. If they have issue, just go in your server setting here and just change the server location. So for example, you US East, just select central, save, 
as you can see, it will reconnect. And now I'm using another server from Discord. So you don't have to create like a new server and uh, send the link to your friend. Just like change the server region and it will help you a lot for the lag in uh, Discord. So that's about it. This is pretty much like the best setting to make sure that your sound is good, you don't lag, and also how to remove those crazy notifications when you have a lot of uh, server that you add on. So that's about it. If you have any questions, just come in the YouTube section, post me anything, and also your rig, like any question, your rig, and what kind of issue that you have. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.